I'm speaking with Dr. Tamara Beckford. She is a board certified emergency medicine physician. She attended med school in New Jersey and trained in emergency medicine then in Philadelphia. She has over 10 years of experience working in ERs from across the country, and she's on the front lines right now in the pandemic. On top of that, though, she's a CEO of You Are Caring Docs and the You Are Caring Society, which she launched in 2020. So I'm delighted she has had the time to make for us today to share all of her wonderful knowledge with us. Dr. Beckford, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing, Dr. Erica? <laughs> Honestly, I'm so honored that you're here. So I'm doing great because from one doctor to another, I know how crazy it's been right now. And the fact that you've been able to make time for me really is a treat. So thank you for doing that. But more than anything, I just, I want to highlight the beautiful work that you're doing in all of your work. So can you please explain to us what You Are Caring Docs really is? Absolutely. So Your Caring Docs is a health and wellness platform. So I started it. Usually I was like, okay, you know, we're in the pandemic. Let me try to do something, right? Why not add more as an ER doc? Hello. But I started as initially a telemedicine platform, but then I transitioned it from there to provide an information to um, those who want to learn about like health and wellness. But the great part about it is that I was able to pull from my colleagues like yourself, you know, from all over the world and then start interviewing them. So that's part of the wellness platform where we're getting great information from our colleagues, like straight from our mouths. Now you're like, well, why, you know, did you go ahead and do that? Because we're realizing that the landscape for medicine has changed, right? A lot of our patients and the patients are now like our clients in some respects, depending on if you're doing a side business or you're in the entrepreneurial space. But one of the things is that they always want information and where are they seeking it? through social media. So we, as the doctors, we have to be able to provide the information and great info. So where can we get them? They're not going to look in our textbooks anymore. They want it from social media. So we said, well, why don't we provide it straight to all of these patients? So how are they getting the best info out there? And who are they getting it from? From their doctors, right? The people that they know and they trust. And for us as doctors, it really helps to elevate us because our patients see the other side of us. They're like, oh, well, they're just like me. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are just like you. So with um, Your Caring Docs, I really have a couple different levels that I have planned for it. As most entrepreneurs, we have like these huge plans, but we're starting it off one step at a time. And the first step is one providing this great health and wellness platform. And the second step is what we'll talk about later, which is through the podcasting. Yeah, well, and you're doing so much on so many platforms. That's what I love about this. I mean, your caring docs is all over social media. You're on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, you have your podcast, the Docs Who Care podcast, and then your website. So what I like is you talk about helping busy professional women put their health first but you're accessible everywhere so they can reach out in any platform that makes sense to them. I love that wellness journey that you're encouraging and supporting. So let's talk about that podcast then, because that's how we met. And I felt in love with what yes. you're doing. So tell me more about the Docs Who Care podcast, please. So the Docs Who Care podcast, I know every entrepreneur says like, that part is my baby, but that really is my baby. So with starting the Your Caring Docs, I, you know, provided information and I was providing general information. And then I started to think, well, why don't I ask my colleagues? I mean, they're all around us, right? So I started sending out like invitations to colleagues. So do you mind jumping on with me and really discussing health and wellness information really so that our patients understand. So with the Docs Who Care, I started it with, you know, we did some recording and then of course, I got the ability to, to go live streaming and I said, uh, why not? So with that, now we get to do a streaming of this info. And I just changed the name to like the show. I'm like, these are the docs who care show. And then we'll put the pre-recorded on the podcast. So it's still under the docs who care, but we get to really highlight all these wonderful doctors who are doing fantastic things all over the world. 
you know? So they'll jump on and they'll talk about stress relief. What are you doing to stress relief? Even one of our wonderful interview yesterday was about the stress cycle. And this is something that people might have heard about or they're like, yeah, I feel stressed out, but you might not understand what the stress cycle is and what are some ways that you can break that cycle. So these are some wonderful information and tips that we provide to provide. I mean, like I said, they're docs from all over. So we have dermatologists talking about skincare and what are some great tips to keep your skin vibrant. And this isn't anything that's really a vanity thing. It's really health, you know? health and wellness. So we have neurosurgeons going over information about stroke. <laughs> That's incredible. Have, yes. And then we have the human aspect of it. So we have this really wonderful cardiothoracic surgeon who she herself was a breast cancer survivor. You know, she is a breast cancer survivor. And she's talked about her journey from being this top cardiothoracic surgeon doing heart transplant and then finding out that she has breast cancer. And so she moved to the other side of the curtain, so to speak. And now, you know, she discusses her transition and how it felt being a patient and going through the healthcare system. So I think it really highlights a myriad um, of information for the patients to see and for people to understand us that we're doctors, but we're humans too. But most of all is that we do care. We're doctors, but we're humans too, and we care. And you're doing exactly that with building community. So on top of all of that, you're also building a You're Caring Society. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that is? Absolutely. So the You're Caring Society is one of the society that's out there really for our busy professional women. So we've talked the talk, but the society is where we walk the walk, right? So we support each other with accountability, with group coaching, and we also bring in some of the best speakers to provide their wealth of knowledge on topics such as sleep. And these are topics that's important for self-care. So we have sleep, we have sexual health, you know, our bodies are all changing. We have to understand what's going on. We have weight management, weight loss, and weight regain, how to deal with that. Um, also how to get over with adversities and to develop healthy habits with exercise or in a little bit of training that we need to do to keep ourselves healthy. We have experts that's there to help with all of that. And the best thing is that they're going to leave tips that you can use in order to get yourself healthy and to stay healthy. And you have the support of your group. So women, supporting women, and being their accountability, all positive environments. That's the Your Caring Society. Wow. So where can someone join that society? I mean, it's so all encompassing. Like who wouldn't want to be part of it, you know? Absolutely. So to join, they'll just have to go to yourcaringdocs.com slash society. So that's, you know, www.urcaringdocs.com slash society. Perfect. Thank you.